All right, so the next uh, section in Unit Three, of course, is、uh, an alternate alternative cutting plane placement. So let's see how we do this. So alternative、uh, cutting plane placement is nothing but like where you just have to learn how to place, you know, the cutting plane、um, in your in your object. So it's going to give you a、um, a section view, right? Um, the same section view as you would produce from your polar orientation or、uh, section view that you would produce without using the cutting plane. Okay,、uh, whatever it's just saying is that you're just learning how to place your cutting plane, all right, in your object alternative、uh, way. So let's take a look at it. This is our same、uh, bob wheel, and of course、so、we are going to do our right side section view. Yeah. Our cutting plane. This one, we're gonna change the direction. Not like the straight down by rotating this shell. That was a、uh, the previous application. Right now, we're gonna put our cutting plane by changing direction of that、uh, cutting plane. Yeah. But we didn't rotate it. Just showing us straight in. Yeah.、Uh, of course,、uh, since you do that. You're gonna get the same, of course,、uh, a right side, yeah,、uh, section view. We put in everything that we need to put in.、Uh, your cross hatch, yeah, on the、uh, inside,、uh, which is this shaft or spoke.、Uh, geometries are shown, yeah, in our section view. Okay, let's take a look at alternative view. The same on both wheel. This is the same animation we view, yeah. So instead of cutting that way, we are cutting it in、uh, alternative、uh, placement is this way, yeah. So let's go back.、Um, let me go up a little bit, yeah. So you can see see it again. So here, instead of putting rotating and putting the cutting plane that way, we're gonna put on cutting plane in an alternative position. It doesn't matter whether you put or, or or this way. Okay, when you draw the right side view, you will end up with the same projection, which is what this is saying. Okay, the same projection or plane like that. Okay, um, it will be a little bit difficult for you to be able to see it, like, cause you have an angle here. So when you draw it,、uh, you might want to put this thing right where it was before, but don't do that. Okay. Uh, because you're you're drawing from the right side, yes, and、um, after after drawing it, you still have to rotate your section view. This time we're not rotating the shell, but you're rotating the section view that you draw、uh, like this. Okay, you will draw with the angle first, but then you will have to rotate it. When you rotate it, you're gonna end up with the same view that we get. Yeah, you know, the same section view that we did with the previous method. Okay, that is what is,、uh, this problem is saying.、Um, okay, so points to remember.、Uh, here is a typo here, so I'll just ignore it. Yeah.、Um, just put it, yes. Okay. So here is for your cross hatching. Yeah. So we're gonna reiterate the same thing. So if your cutting plane is gonna runs along your longitudinal axis, you don't have to do your cross hatching. But you have to do your cross hatching, yeah. If your cutting plane is gonna create the cross section of your thin、uh, member, yeah, thin members are like your web, your rib, right? At that time, you have to display your cross hatching. In the previous example, try to remember how we, yeah,、uh, draw the、uh, inside the internal、uh, feature, and we cross hatch it for the web, yeah,、uh, feature. Uh, by rot after rotating、uh, the section view.、Um, in the very very first example, we didn't do the cross hatching. Yeah, we just show、uh, the direct the、uh, right side view because you don't need it at that time because there there was no rotation involved for the revolve remove. Yeah, sectioning. So make sure you understand all of the revolve、uh, sectioning. There are four different types. Okay. Then we、we'll、get into、uh, standard hardware and assemblies, in sectioning. 
So the standard hardware, we don't cross hatch, right? We leave them out. And I already told you that. So here you can be able to see we're not doing cross hatching. So never ever do cross hatch for standard hardware. Yeah, we we are gonna leave them out. So what are the standard hardware? Your bolts, your pins, your keys. Yeah. So here you're dealing with that, and we are going to cross hatch only when you're dealing with uh, these uh, these items. Yeah, your bolts, your pins, your keys, etc. When you're dealing with them in a cross section views. Or when you're dealing with them in a broke out section at that time you will cross hatch okay so let's take a look at it here are just a longitudinal view yeah so if you have a thin item like your gaskets or your shims yeah it doesn't matter like regardless of the material type right we're not going to cross hatch so here you can see the thin right look at that little red yeah line right there representing your thin item yeah in this of course a model that we're drawing and uh, we're not going to put the uh, cross hatch on it yeah you can put a solid yeah solid fill here is a red a solid fill uh, for you to be able to uh, spot it yeah in your uh, in your drawing here you're dealing with the mating part so you have the first part and second part and we made it, made it mean connected, yeah, to each other. So they fit, of course. And we look at this, a cross hatch. We cross hatch, yeah. Uh, what we need is cross hatch and leave everything we don't have to, your holes, all right. Again, the angle of cross hatch depends on your part. So we have 45, 30, and 60, and make sure they are consistent for each of the cross hatch line, yeah. And your angle depends on the part, mating part, uh, they're different. And that we use uh, uh, in our assembly, yeah, drawing. So uh, we're putting uh, the cap and then the uh, washer, yeah, washer and the cap. In the assembly, uh, you've got to carefully yeah, study the drawing, yeah, how they appear, yeah, in this assembly. We have a mating part, first, second, your cross hatch. We don't cross hatch. We don't cross hatch a thin item here. We don't cross hatch the bolt, all right, to here. And of course, your cap and the screw washer, yeah. So these are my hardware that you have just studied. And we don't do cross hatching on any of the hardware, yeah. You have just studied um, because they run along the uh, longitudinal axis, okay. Uh, here you can be able to see our standard hardware and this is a pin on your bolt all right your screw this is just a multi-part assembly that you are drawing here the screws the pins are not shown in cross hatch we don't cross hatch at all because they are you know longitudinal right um, um, longitudinal exits yeah and for this drawing so here uh, you can see the standard hardware in our section view the cutting plane passes along the longitudinal axis of the hardware. Yeah. If if you if you are like uh, still thinking about where's the cutting plane, your cutting plane is what you're seeing right now in the front. Yeah. Um. After drawing, of course. Okay. Well, this is this is it for this section. So let's close this.